Well, that was more or less within one or two percent of the best game that the 2018 Seattle Seahawks can play. That was the best you're going to get from this team. And they left it all out there today, and it just wasn't enough. Maybe it would have been enough if the team wasn't stupid at the end of the game. Maybe we still would have lost anyway because the team just isn't good enough. I don't know. But either way, <clears throat> I just watched the team play to basically their maximum potential, and they still weren't able to win. And there's no way that I can look at that and not be a little pissed off. I want to be at peace with it, guys, because when I say that, when I say that this team played the best game that they can, I want to be happy about that, and I kind of am. I mean, there's some stuff you can take out of this game, absolutely. The team did some things really well out there, but to see your team play the best that they can, I believe that that was the best game that they can play <coughs> and still lose it reminds you that your team is just not good enough. And that sucks. It it just sucks. I mean, this game today, we got a great game from the running backs. We got a great rushing attack going all throughout this game. We ran for almost 200 yards. We didn't turn the ball over on offense. We had several big plays on offense in the pass and in the run. Offensive line held up pretty well most of the game. Uh, defensively, we stopped the run well. We forced a turnover at the goal line, which turned into seven points for us, a 14-point swing off a tipped pick. And on top of that, we are not going to get a better chance to beat a team like the Rams. They could play this game a hundred times, and I don't know if the Rams would give us a better chance to win a game than they did today. We had a tipped pick at the goal line when they probably should have just been running the ball with Gurley. They missed an extra point. You know, they, I'm not saying they played badly, but they gave us opportunities and we still couldn't win. So, I mean, people out there, they're going to hear me say that. They're going to hear me say that, oh, the Seahawks played their best game and it just wasn't good enough. So they're not good enough. And they're going to say, well, <clears throat> we got no pass rush on golf, but our pass rushers suck. We have one guy who can rush the passer. Everyone else they might be good next year. They might be good in two months. They might be good in two years, but they're not good right now. Nobody else on this team gets after the quarterback. So when I see the pass rush go out there and suck, I'm not surprised. Nobody out there should be saying that the pass rush doesn't generally suck. We had one good game against the Cowboys, and one good game does not make a good pass rush. People are going to say, well, you know, the offense still missing some stuff. The play calling is not <clears throat> great. We missed some opportunities to make some more plays. We're stuck with Schottenheimer, and he sucks. Even even after today, I'm going to say it. We scored 31 points. I can't give hardly any of the credit of that to Schottenheimer. We're not going to be a big-time offense as long as he is the one calling the plays. So that's our team. They're going to say that, oh, you know, Jared Goff carved up our secondary like I said he would, but our secondary is not going to be able to hold up when we don't get a pass rush, and our pass rush is bad. It's one of the worst in the league right now, whether we like it or not. They're going to say, oh, Tedrick Thompson missed all those tackles. <clears throat> you know, nobody is saying, nobody out there should be saying, wow, I am shocked that Tedrick Thompson played bad today. Because he did. But that's our team, okay? Tedrick Thompson is not a good player. He's never played a good game in the NFL. Maybe he'll be good next week. Maybe he'll be good next month. Maybe he'll be good by the end of the year or next year. But right now, Nobody out there should be surprised that he's missing tackles. So the only thing after watching that Seahawks-Rams game that I can say this team could have done better was on the kickoffs because we gave up two long kick returns in this game, and then we started doing the pooch kicks with Dixon, and the Rams were still getting field position past the 35-yard line, and they got short fields to work with. Part of me says, well, they were going to score anyway, so who gives a crap? But that is the only thing that I came away from this game thinking this roster could have done better than that. I mean, we got, like I said, five or six or seven explosive plays on offense. Long runs, 
long passes. Tyler Lockett, monster game. Nick Vanette had a big play in the passing game on a, you know, ad lib. David Moore. <clears throat> David Moore played the by far the best game of his career to this point. We had two running backs playing really well today. No turnovers, two sacks on Wilson. Um, we drew multiple penalties on, on offense that kept drives alive. I don't know what else we can do, guys, with this personnel and this coaching staff. That, I didn't know we could do that, <clears throat> and I think that was the best that we can do because, you know, there was no opening up of the offense today. I don't believe that. I don't believe that Schottenheimer suddenly came up with a bunch of genius play calls and allowed us to rack up, you know, 370 yards of offense and 31 points, which, by the way, I know Seahawks fans out there are going to be really excited about that offensive performance. I'm going to be a little excited about it, too, but 370 yards and 31 points is nothing. That's an average game for some of these NFL offenses. That's an above-average game for a lot of NFL offenses. It is not something we should be jumping out of the roof out of. <clears throat> We're just happy because... Hey, you know, we finally went over 30 points, and it's a good game, but let's not act like we just dropped 50 or something. <clears throat> let's remember who we are. Let's remember the expectations that we should all have for this team. Okay, tonight was a good game for the roster that we have. It is not a good game by the standards of the rest of the NFL. It's above average, slightly. So, yeah, that with Schottenheimer and with the limitations of this offense, that was about the best we could do. And like I said, guys, when you can't get a pass rush on golf, <clears throat> and we did not. We had one sack on this game on the first drive. Frank Clark showed his ass out there today. Frank Clark played good. He, he had the pick off the tip. He had a tackle for loss on a jet sweep. <clears throat> he... he uh, yeah, like I said, the sack on the first drive of the game. Frank Clark did work. That's the only guy on this team who can get after the passer. We cannot be surprised when these other quarterbacks pick our defense apart because we don't rush them. We were trying everything we could to get pressure on golf as this game went on. We were bringing all kinds of blitzes. We affected some of his throws, but we couldn't get to him. We couldn't rattle him. Closest we got was Quentin Jefferson getting a roughing the passer call on him. So... I look at Robert Woods and Cooper Cup and even Josh Reynolds a little bit running free in our secondary, and I'm like, I'm not surprised. Nobody out there should be shocked that they're running their receivers wide open. I mean, Brandon Cooks and, and uh, later on Cooper Cup both left this game with injuries, and right away I said to myself, I don't even know if it matters. It matters a little bit, but <clears throat> it's tough for me to believe we're going to make this count when we still can't get after golf, and sure enough, Robert Woods and Josh Reynolds and receivers that I've never even heard of before. Gerald Effort, Everett roasting us because the receivers barely matter when you can't get a rush. But that's our team. So that irritates me because it's been a long time since I've looked at a Seahawks team and been like, this team's just not good enough. They can do everything that they can and it still won't result in a win on Sunday. So that lets you know that the team as constructed is just not good enough. Uh, tough loss, tough loss. It, 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 it reminds you that this team is capable of playing very well. But to the Seahawks fans out there watching this, games in the NFL are a one-off. Do not forget that. Don't think... That just because the offense played pretty good today, it's just going to be like this every game. We're not going to go out there and drop 30-plus on every team we play now just because we did it in this one game. That's why losing this game hurts. <clears throat> because we had a chance to win this game at the end, which, like I said in my pregame video, that's all I can ask for. But when you let it go in a game where you played really well, because we did, we did play really well, when you let that opportunity go, you cannot count on that ever coming back. Like, you know, next week we're going to play a much worse team than the Raiders. We're going to play a worse team than that in the Lions, although the Lions are playing okay lately. And we don't, I don't know if this offense is going to play this well again in, in those games. They could have bad games in those games. 
you know, we might go back to scoring 20 points if we're lucky against the Raiders and the Lions. And this is just going to be a missed opportunity. This is not necessarily going to be the game that breaks everything open for this offense. So it's... It is a missed opportunity for the team to get a huge statement win that would have put them right in the mix for this division and playoffs and everything. Um, look, I got to talk about the end of that game because that's that's what really has me angry. If we had done everything in this game as good as we could, which I think we did for almost the whole game, then whatever. You know, sometimes you, you're just not good enough, but... I got to talk to my offense <clears throat> because I know the defense sucks. Nobody is saying that the defense doesn't suck right now, okay? Uh, the defense will play well against bad offenses. They're going to do everything they can, but they just suck. They have no pass rush. They're line they have one good linebacker until KJ gets back. They're they've got our, you know, brand new safety back there who doesn't seem like he can tackle for shit. Whatever. Tedrick Thompson might not be on the team next year because that he's not doing anything to earn his roster spot. We get the ball into field goal range with less than four minutes left. The Rams are out of timeouts. Field goal gives us the lead, and then we have a chance. <clears throat> okay, when Tyler Lockett catches that long pass to get us into field goal range, I'm already thinking about, okay, how much time is going to be left after we kick this field goal? That's the question to me because... I expect this team to turtle up and try to play for a field goal because that's what we do because our offensive coordinator is a moron and straight up the only reason why this game today looks so good is because Wilson was hitting every single deep pass. Every time he had something open down the field, he hit it. Lockett, Vanette, well, Vanette not really down the field, more. Every time he was given the opportunity to hit a big play, he hit it. That is why... This game looks good. Nothing to do with Schottenheimer. Schottenheimer still in my doghouse big time. I saw nothing different in this game. Still those plays where nobody gets open. Still those plays where Wilson's holding the ball for eight seconds. And still nobody gets open. Still. A play where Nick Vanette and Chris Carson are trying to block Sue. Which, you know, forget about it. I still saw all that bullshit, so... I'm not giving any credit to Schottenheimer for what we did today. I give credit to the players for that. But why can we not get a play call in? That is what really set me off in this game. Nothing in this game was making me mad until I saw this team get a five-yard penalty, which was called on a Fetty, but it wasn't a Fetty's fault. It was on either Schottenheimer or Wilson or Britt for us not getting that playoff. If Fetty went with the play clock, that's what he's supposed to do. It's on us for not getting that snap off, for not getting that play off. And <clears throat> I don't know why 40 seconds is not enough to get a play call in, but multiple times in every game we play, we are burning timeouts. Burning timeouts because we cannot get the play call in. And then at the end of this game, maybe we could have used that last time out. Probably not, but maybe. And then on the last drive of the game, it happens again and it costs us five yards. And then the guy I've been sticking up for big time, and I'm not going to say he played a bad game, but we're in field goal range still. And DJ Fluker grabs Sue, pulls him back, pulls him down, holding. Now we're not in field goal range, not in this weather. Let the guy go. Let him go tackle the running back for no gain. Who cares? We're still in field goal range. Now, I'm not happy if we end up kicking a 54-yard field goal with three minutes left. I'm still thinking we're probably going to lose, but that's better than fourth, than third and 23 out of field goal range. I would rather have the field goal than third and 23 or second and 23, whatever. And then, of course, he can't come up with a good play to at least get us, you know, maybe 10, 15 yards so we can at least kick a field goal. Because once we punted that ball back to the Rams, I thought the game was completely over. I had no, no, no thoughts in my mind of us getting that ball back. 
and we almost did somehow. The defense actually did better than I thought, but I had no thought in my mind that we are going to get this ball back. I almost wanted us to go for it on fourth and 23 or kick a 62-yard field goal. That's how sure I was that we were not going to get that ball back. So that pisses me off. The holding on Fluker, which now after the game, he's trying to say it wasn't a hold. It shouldn't have been called, which I, I think it was. I think it was a hold. And maybe he's saying, you know, oh, there's holding on every play in the NFL, which sure, but whatever. Don't be the one who folds. Let him go. Just let him go. Let him tackle the running back. Who cares? I'll deal with it. You know, at least give us the field goal. You took the field goal opportunity off the board. And then the continuous problems with getting the play call in, which I don't even know. So, yeah, <clears throat> the defense getting picked on by Goff. I mean, it is frustrating for me to sit here and say, yeah, we got shredded by Jared Goff, but I'm not surprised. I'm not disappointed because I expect it like that. That's that sucks. It sucks that I have to say that. But it's what it is, guys. <sighs> Everything about this game today is what it is. So it doesn't piss me off that we lost. It pisses me off that we're not good enough to play our best game and win. Because I think today was our best game, and the Rams won because they have way more talent than we do. <clears throat> and, all right, I'm going to go watch this uh, Houston-Dallas game. Uh, obviously, we need Houston to come through for us. It's going to help us a little bit. Look, if we play that way in every game going forward, we will be fine, but... We're not. That's not how it works in the NFL. Games are a one-off, okay? This offense that put up 31 points against the Rams is the same offense that last week barely put up points on the Cardinals, okay? There's no consistency in the NFL unless you're one of the best. Like, the Rams are consistent. The Chiefs are consistent. A couple other teams are consistent. Like, the Bengals' offense today was not impressive, and they've been one of the best offenses in the league through several games. The Falcons' offense fell off today after three amazing games in a row. We can't count on this offense to put up 31 points and play this good every game. It's just not going to happen. So when lightning strikes and you're off... Oh, Deshaun taking it. Oh, down at the one. Um, <clears throat> when the lightning strikes and your offense plays that well, you need to get the win. And we, we didn't do it today, so I'm, I'm down proud of the effort. The team played hard. They played well. They played a little dumb at the end. I'm not going to lie. They did play a little dumb, but they did just enough to lose. And um, I want to be okay with that, but I can't be. I really can't. All right. Tuesday video coming up in two days. See y'all later. Watch me on Twitch tonight. I'm almost definitely going live tonight on Twitch. If you don't care about World of Final Fantasy, that's fine. Ask me questions. Pick my brain. That's Totally cool.